Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to look at this used Louis Vuitton Zippy wallet which is made out of their Epi leather. Now basically I bought this used from Aerobe which is an online site at which you can buy used goods which will involve accessories, it can involve myriad other things you might want to look at so scarves, wallets, bags, clothes, whatever the case might be. Anyway, I bought this used Epi wallet and I'm going to go through the features of it, what I think of it, and whether it might be worth considering. Now I got this for about 400 Australian dollars, including shipping. Basically, it costs over a thousand dollars new if you were to get it from Louis Vuitton. So that sounds initially like it might be a decent bargain depending on the condition and depending on whether you actually want to get a used wallet or not. So I'm going to go through the wallet, the features of it, how much you can fit in it, and what it roughly matches, which is relatively self-explanatory. Alright, so with that in mind, let's have a look at what the wallet is actually like. Now if we have a look at the wallet, we can basically see it's an ordinary rectangle shape, i.e. ordinary rectangle and it has a zip that goes all the way around. Now if you look at the outside of the wallet, it has this grain on it, i.e. this is the epi grain, which is basically a textured outline for the wallet, which it has all around. Now this isn't a black here, it looks like a black to dark navy. So it isn't a pitch black colour, but it is certainly black. So with the wallet we have here a silver coloured zip, however most of the time at the moment they can also have gold zips, so it's really going to depend on what you ultimately end up getting. Now if we open it up here, what we'd see is there's several compartments inside, unsurprisingly. So we have this first compartment, which is effectively cards and other miscellaneous rubbish. We have a, another couple of miscellaneous rubbish compartments, i.e. notes or whatever. Then in the middle, we have a zippy compartment, which you could put, again, whatever random crap you want in there, as long as you don't want it to fall out. And then we have another card type compartment here. This basically means there's a lot of storage. So all up, we're looking at about eight specific card departments four on each side. But of course there are other compartments here that you can put cards into, and you can put cards and the like into any other portion that you might want to. So there's quite a lot of storage space. Now in terms of what you'd want to fit in here, you obviously have miscellaneous things you can do. So there's quite a lot of space here. However, it will become quite bulky, and if you look at the sides here, they're relatively inflexible. So it's not going to expand that much, so there's a limit to how much you can actually put into it. So the next question is how much can it actually fit in here? So I have a couple of piles of cash here, some miscellaneous notes from various different countries. You have ones from Canada, the US, Japanese yen, whatever the case might be, and a pile of Australian notes, which are just ordinary standard sizes. So let's see whether we can actually fit these in to the wallet reasonably successfully. You'll notice that they will be relatively okay lengthwise, of course they're not well arranged, but you'll notice they're started length. The big issue is whether the width is going to be okay for it to fit into the wallet, and this is relatively wide, so we can see how much we can actually fit in. So in terms of fitting it all in, well let's have a look at whether it'll work. We basically have a few different compartments here that we can try out. And basically I'll just shove it into this compartment here and see how it goes. Now if we start putting it in here, you'll notice that it's not well arranged, but it basically is going to fit albeit not super successfully. It sort of fits in there once I do kind of shove it in there, and there we go. And then you can close it and zip it up, and it's relatively successfully closed. So basically, from this, we can see it can fit a lot of different pieces of paper in there if you need to do so. Of course, it's really going to depend on what you want to fit in here, and there's still room to be able to fit other stuff if you'd like, in addition to the cards and various other things you might want to put in there. So what then might the wallet go with? Well, this is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to bore you to death by trying to actually fit it with various things here, but basically, I don't know, a black bag, whatever, uh, maybe a black briefcase, who knows, who really cares? It basically can just fit with miscellaneous black colored stuff. It looks reasonably professional for work, so it's basically going to fit with ordinary things that you might want to fit it with, and it's reasonably practical. I'd personally just use it for storing things like currency or whatever, but again, like I said, it works perfectly okay, and it's pretty adequate. So overall, I quite like the Epi Zippy wallet. I'm not sure I would necessarily pay full price for it, 
because I'm just using it for ordinary bog standard practical things, but if you really want a nice enough looking wallet that you'd be able to use that's quite practical, this is not a terrible option, and it's one that you might want to consider.